This is uh, how I created randomly a guitar simulator in 7 days. The title is still under development. I just saw a video about Bezier Curves, it was very interesting, but now I'm wondering if I can create my own curve. The idea is to join these three points with a smooth line, independently by their position. After a bit of experimentation, I finally found the Conti's curve. Oh my god! Wow! In the formula, A1, A2 and A3 represent the points that must be joined, and T is a parameter that goes from 0 to 1. If T is equal to 0, the second and third parts of the formula disappear, leaving only A1. For T equal 1 half is the first and third parts that are cancelled out and only a2 remains. For t equal 1 instead, the curve passes for a3. I enjoy moving these three points around, but I want something more dynamic. Now Conti's scores can move up and down like a guitar string. It's like having an invisible spring connecting the point A2 with the center of the chord. When A2 is away from the center, the spring is elongated and generates a force to bring the points back. If A2 is near the center instead, it's previous velocity moving it away from that position. There is also a bit of friction to slow down the system over time. I don't know if I want the green points to be shown or not. Tomorrow I will decide. I'm very sorry, but today I was very busy, so I was able only to create a copy of the curve. It seems a very small task, but it requires changing a lot of stuff already written. And yes, the green points are back. It's the fourth day of the project, and I still don't know what I want to make. I need a moment uh, to think. I have an idea. Since it vibrates like a guitar string and looks like a guitar strings, I decided to make a saxophone. <laughs> Just kidding, let's create a guitar simulator. If a string long L is kept in tension by a force F, the fundamental frequency of that string will be 1 over 2 times the length multiplied by the square root of the force over mu, where mu is the mass per unit length of the string. This formula is known as Mersenne's law, discovered by the French mathematician Mary Mersenne in 1636. The key point behind this formula is that if L grows, F will shrink. I need a string that produces a frequency according to this principle. Let's say that the idea is correct, but the sound uh, is a pain for my hairs. The problem is that I never used the Pygame Mixly library before, or any music related library in general, so I don't know exactly what is wrong with my code. It turns out that harmonic sounds are not formed just by a unique frequency, but they have also twice that frequency, three times that frequency, or more in general, a multiple of it. Therefore, every time the chord is vibrating, uh, will produce uh, multiple sound frequencies. The next problem is avoiding the abrupt interruption between a note and the next one. If a sound is produced for a time t, only those frequencies that multiply by t give us an integer are allowed. In this way, the sign of uh, 2 pi of t is null and each note terminates in the right way, with a zero. So by removing these frequencies and introducing a fade out to all the notes, the result is so much better.
Today I just made some small improvements. For example, I added the sprites to the points at the end of the chords and I make the system works with a higher number of strings. I think the project can end here, but before, this is my attempt in performing the Hode to Joy.